Hey, Brandis here. Um, I wanted to do a quick unboxing. I haven't done one in a while. Thought I would do it live and save it. Um, the other day I asked people what planner they were using for um, 2020. I'm using a Hobonichi Weeks Mega, which I've uh, shown in a few different posts and videos. Um, but this is something that someone answered with, and uh, Melissa Fernandez answered that she, um, she uses the the Moon is My Calendar. And then I went over and looked at the the account for the person who creates it, and it, like this was such a like snap decision of like oh this is beautiful and gorgeous and could be a really awesome addition to how I shape my year. But I know nothing about this, uh, I, I don't even, I don't, I don't, I know virtually nothing about it. It just really spoke to me when I looked at some pictures and at the website. And so I just went ahead and grabbed one. So I'm just going to do a quick unboxing or unpacking, I guess, cause it's not really in a box, but this came really quickly. I was, I was honestly surprised. Um, and let's see here. One second. I think I just grabbed everything out of the, oh, oh, that's a bummer. This got bent a little bit. Um, this is neat. Okay, so it had this little pack of, oh, here we go. A little thank you. Um, so thank you for being a part of this journey to connect with inner and outer cycles and shift the tides to live in alignment with the rhythms of nature. May the flowing tides of the moon help you trust the unfolding process of life. May the seeds of your intentions grow into beautiful gardens that continually, that, that is into a beautiful garden that is continually nourished by the compost of what you release each cycle. I love this so much. And those of you who've worked with me know that I, um, my practices, even when they're practical, um, are very seasonally and cyclically based. Um, you can also download your PDF guidebook and any other resource. Oh, neat. So there's a PDF guidebook. Mark your calendar for December 11th at 11 a.m. Pacific for an online Q&A and full moon temple. I love this. This is really lovely. Um, love April. So that's a really nice note. I love this postcard. I saw the moon and thought, oh, I love this. This is really cool. I saw the moon and thought of you. Mm. And then there's this little bookmark. I'm assuming this is like a bookmark or just quick reference. All of the new moons, all of the full moons. I really like this. This is going to, um, this might actually go in my Hobonichi, um, if it's not too tall or too wide or anything, because, um, this is actually a really great, I need one more bookmark for my Hobonichi. This is like, it feels like good quality, but it is thin, so it wouldn't add a lot of bulk. So this is really cool. I like it. And then this is the calendar journal. Oh, I love, okay. I love um, protected spirals. So this is a big win for me. Um, so this is the new moon calendar journal. And on the back says transformative tool for aligning with inner and outer cycles offers a uh, place to chart personal practices on a, a circular calendar, reflect on what unfolds during each cycle, set intentions for your healing journey, cultivate awareness and self knowing, deepen your relationship with each phase of the process. Oh gosh, I think I'm going to love this thing. Um, okay, I need to put you down for just a quick second while I actually get this, like, cellophane wrap off. I need two hands. So please hold. Take a really hard look at this Virgo logo. Ugh. Okay. Okay, quick and dirty. All right, I haven't even looked in it. I just took off the wrapping. Okay, this is in really good shape. Um, I know even even though the bookmark was like a, a little bent, uh, the calendar itself is fine. 
no issues. Oh my gosh. I love this kind of binding. I like spiral notebooks, um, but I like smaller spirals because I'm a lefty and they tend to get in the way otherwise. Um, and I really like pr protected spirals because when I carry something, I carry it with me or when I use something, I carry it with me. And um, I hate when the spirals get all banged up and everything. So this, ooh, this is really nice paper. So we've got here table of contents, journal pages, moon mandalas, circular calendar overview. Ooh, this is a lot of stuff. So you do a new moon mandala, uh, seeds of intention, a circular calendar, daily observance, reflect and release. Those are all things. Okay. I love setting intentions. Oh, a little bit of, um, a little bit of a intro to different symbols. Um, how to use the circular calendar. Oh, this is interesting. These are like moods and emotions, bodies and body and sensations, lifestyles and habits that you can fill in to the circular calendar, I think circular calendar. I don't know. I look forward to really digging into how this gets used, but um, an intro to what causes moon phases. Um, I think it's interesting that we live on a planet that is so cyclical um, related to like the tilt we're on. I mean, it's the whole reason we have season. It's the whole reason we're so cyclical um, as a planet. As ooh, So we pick a word. Moon reminds me to this year I am hearing, seeing, tasting, touching, smelling, feeling, sensing, knowing. My heart is. So new moon mandala for December, January. Seeds of intention. Here's an example of um, this uh, circular calendar. Daily observances. I like that the daily observances are just um, a small space. Um, it's unlikely that I would write something every single day. And with a setup like this, which I really like, there, um, there wouldn't be as much guilt for me around like, okay, so a couple days here are blank or whatever. I could always fill them in with art or doodling or um, washi stickers, you know, whatever. And then it goes to reflect release and another mandala, seeds of intention, circular. Okay, so that's the setup. I really like this and, and it is sort of supplemental to a practical planner as well. Um, it's definitely not enough space for this to be like a proper date book or something for me. Um, it is pretty strictly spiritual. Um, the end is also the beginning. It's the page at the end. And then some acknowledgments for collaborators. So April McMurdy is the um, found, and I hope I said that correctly, is the founder. Um, and then cover artwork by Lori Mena, Sita Rosalie Davis, co-director uh, Jake McMurdy. So that's those are the key people. This is a really gorgeous. This is, I mean, this is just a, I really love the cover. I love how vivid and colorful it is. Um, I love this little additive. This is a neat little tool. Um, and I feel like this will also be helpful in using like a practical planner. Um, you know, like I said, I'm probably not going to write in this every single day. But what's nice is that if I have this in my Hobonichi or on my person, and I know that these dates and times are coming, um, it will remind me to reach for this um, more often than I might if it were just sitting somewhere. Because it's fairly large. Um, I don't know the exact dimensions, but I mean, this is my hand. It's not quite, I'm trying to think if I have 
I don't have like a full sheet of paper here handy, but I mean, it's stuff. It might be like nine by nine, maybe. Um, that's just a rough guess. But it's it's not super portable. But this isn't the sort of thing that I feel like you need to have on your person at all times. Which when I'm talking, when I'm using a practical planner, that's definitely how I'm. That's definitely um, what I'm doing. This I feel like is something that could have a treasured spot on a desk somewhere or a side table and could be pulled out in the evening or in the morning, either one, whichever, whichever time is more reflective for you and easily used to kind of supplement your more practical planning. I really love this. So uh, thanks to Melissa for... <laughs> <laughs> triggering my spontaneous purchase and when I'm up and running with this and actually using it I will do my best to come back and share some pics or a quick overview of how I'm using it once it's up and running see you later